Hey y'all, so I am back with an update. I am nine days into my clinical term and I wanted to come back and just give y'all a little bit of insight um, from what I've been able to do so far because I've been working. Um, so I'll go a little bit into detail about my experience so far with preparing for lab and also let y'all see my lab kit and everything and you know tell y'all everything I've been doing to prepare for lab. So my current lab class, it is um, basic nursing skills. And there is things that we would need to do prior to going into lab to qualify for lab. And if these things are not done, then you're not going to lab. They're not gonna schedule you for it. Um, I haven't gotten my official schedule yet. Um, I think it's a little early. It's a little early on, so maybe I'll get it a little bit later. And when I do, I'll show you all an example of what the schedule will look like. Um, so just to break this down, it is a lab first, and then after you go to lab, then you will go to clinicals. So that lab kind of gives you the foundation of what you um, will be doing in your first round of clinicals. Um, so that's why it's lined up that way. So I'll pull up one of the things that I think is really cool about lab and show you guys an example. So just a side note before I get started, I was a heavy caffeine drinker um, for the sake of school, but I have stomach issues and it honestly was making it 10 times worse. So I tried something else to give me some natural energy. Um, and y'all, I've seen this on TikTok and this has worked wonders for me. This is a positive energy tea. It's like a black tea and it has health benefits, but it's gonna give you a little bit of a boost. So if you're looking for an alternative, don't say I didn't tell y'all about this. So right now I am taking basic nursing and I got it paired with health assessment and with those two classes they basically teach you how to complete a head-to-toe assessment for each scenario so if somebody comes in and they're like oh well I'm, I'm having um, breathing issues or oh I'm having heart issues you would be able to do a simulation to kind of give you an idea on how to complete that assessment so I'm gonna try to pull one up and I'm, I'm not gonna like basically show it um just because i don't know if that's against the rules but i'll explain it to you um so basically in that simulation you're going to have someone that's in the doctor office it's, it's like a actual patient and you have to ask the question so the more questions you ask the more you discover about the patient that's in the room and the more you understand the process of you know entering a room and giving a patient privacy and washing your hands they're all kind of incorporated. Um, well, basic nursing, I don't know if it goes in that in depth, but I'll show y'all an example. Um, I know the head to toe or head assess, the health assessment class, it literally is like every step, like, oh, come in, greet the patient. Um, they tell you what the problem is and you um, have you show empathy to them and you tell them, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Now I will tell y'all, when I was completing these things, I was actually intrigued by them, I had fun. Um, I really think it's cool, a cool way to teach someone how to complete the assessment. So I'll show y'all a little preview. Okay. One moment, let me make the microphone work. Hello, my name is Brittany and I will be doing your exam today. Hello. Well, that wasn't loud, hold on. So what brings you in today? This morning, I woke up with awful pain in my hips and knees. When I tried to get out of bed, it was as my joints just gave out, and I fell right there in my bedroom. I hit my lower back on the bed frame, which I'm sure didn't help matters. To be honest, I'm worried that it's only... Okay, so the video cut off, but he basically stated that... Um he ended up falling this morning and he's experiencing a little bit of pain and you know at, with this assessment it's my job to try to figure out you know if he has any health um, issues or health history of any health issues um, if he is currently concerned about anything else outside of what he told me to empathize with him um, and to also educate him on everything that will be done to him while he's in the hospital and how to take care of himself once he gets out of the hospital so this this also allows you to uh, read vital signs and know how to document vital signs and how to check the IV pumps how to check 
um, the IV site just to see if everything is looking up to par. I think that is actually a really amazing tool. If you want to see in depth how it looks, just uh, TikTok shadow health simulations and they'll show you. I think I've seen the Yeah, so I've seen a video on TikTok prior to doing this. And when I seen the video, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And lo and behold, I am definitely doing this with my assignments. It's required for me to be able to go to lab. And I think that it's really resourceful. Um, it teaches you a lot of things that, you know, you probably already learned and you're just kind of putting it into play with the patient before you have to do it in front of everybody at lab because um if i'm not mistaken you will have to do an assessment in front of the class um to be able to pass basic nursing skills that's the point of lab you go in you learn from them too and then at the end you have to actually um do a scenario with a mock patient so that's what basic nursing the basic nursing um class consists of Okay, y'all, so I just want to give y'all a side note. I'm not keeping this bag. I ordered another bag to put my stuff in because I don't think it's cute. Um, at least I, I'm very matchy-matchy with the colors that I... Whatever, it don't matter. I'm not keeping this bag, but if you pay $200 for this bag and you want to keep this bag, by all means, you keep that bag. But um, it came with a little pen light when you do your assessments on the eyes. It came with some little artificial private parts cover her up it's a private part um a lady dot i mean a lady part they have the men the men's part as well and then they have a little face mouth this is for um practice it you can put it on a board it's supposed to go on a board like this and then i believe you practice putting putting in um like tubes in the mouth this is what you would use to practice you position it like this um so my sister is diabetic and we thought this was super funny, but you get some little mock um, insulins. It's not real insulin. They have the cloudy insulin and they have the clear insulin, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so this comes in the lab kit as well. You have your gauze uh, that come in the lab kit. You have uh, catheters and syringes. So all the needles and everything that you'll need. You have a whole lot of these. Um, uh, you have gloves, and then you have your little scissors and everything that come with it. You have some what's this? Uh, cotton tips, tape, everything you need, basically. Uh, stomach tube. Get that. And I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a Foley tray. Um, it comes with all the Foley stuff in there, so that's in there safety pins tracheostomy clean and care kit suction catheter kit it's a lot of things that come in here they give you a long list of everything so they provide you with a long list of everything that comes in the bag um you would just get the bag uh the lab instructor does ask for you to go through it and get familiar with it so i'm still getting familiar with mods i haven't like really dug into it too much um but you do need to be aware of what's in that bag before you go in there even if you don't know how to use it know what it is um so so far that's all that i've done i've completed those lab simulations i'm going through the coursework um but the thing that you need to do is the lab, the tickets to ride. You need to complete certain assignments to be able to go to lab, and they'll tell you exactly what that is. Um, it does need to be completed at least two weeks prior. So you have well advanced of a, a, you know, a heads up to be able to complete that assignment. So nothing to stress about. Um, I'm basically just waiting to be able to attend lab. Um, and once I do that, I will give y'all an update. Um, typically, from what I hear, you attend lab at least one month into the clinical term or a month and a half but whichever that is they will notify you ahead of time so you'll be well aware of it from my understanding there's four days of lab could be wrong but i know she gave me a layout of all three days what we're doing and i know one of those days it have to be an assessment so honestly, y'all, the pre-nursing, like I said, was a little bit more stressful for me because I was trying to get to this point where I was in clinical. But since I've started this clinical term, um, I have been able to kind of take my time a little bit so I'm not as tense. Although the work never gets easy, 
um, you just kind of get accustomed to, you know, the concept of how they test you. Lab will be something that's new for me, but it's not something that scares me only because I'm really good with being hands on with stuff. But I will say so far, I have not been as tense as I was with this last term. I was probably pulling my hair out crying last term. And I'm sure at one point I will with this term. But so far, it's been good. So if I miss anything or if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Again, I don't have the clinical um, schedule yet. Clinical comes right after lab. So I'll update y'all on that. Um, and also my nails if i'm not mistaken they gotta go i can't have anything but clear nail polish and no fake nails on so i'm gonna be bald again um but again if, if i missed anything and y'all have any questions it's something i didn't touch base on sometimes i just respond in the comments and if i don't respond in the comments i try to include them in my next video so leave a comment like subscribe watch the whole video y'all that is super important watch the whole video if y'all continue to show love and you know subscribe to the channel it really pushes me to continue to do these videos and we're getting close to the nitty-gritty um i complete my lab term oh i'm sorry i complete my lab class right after i complete my lab class and i'll i'll probably know before then but then i will go into um, my clinical t my clinical class which my first clinical class will be adult health so um Make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can stay updated on the latest um, progression with me throughout this nursing program. I am not too far from the end, but um, I'm not super close, but not too far. Closer than what I've ever been. So y'all stay tuned, keep watching, and I'll make sure to keep y'all updated.